Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me for a trip around Europe. My name is Jana Grasho and together with the CEFIC team, we're bringing you boots on the ground through the chemical industry to show you some of the projects that are contributing to the transformation of our sector. The transition is not only something that will be happening in the future, it's happening right now. And that's why we're here today in the beautiful Austrian town of Schürfling, where we will be meeting the Evonik team to tell us more about their project leading the way to sustainability. Let's go meet Jean-Marc Chazagne, who will tell us a little bit more. Hi Jean-Marc. Hello Jana, very warm welcome to Austria. Thank you for having us. So before we start, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, yeah, sure. Welcome to Evonik Fibers in this wonderful region of Salzkammergut in Upper Austria. My name is Jean-Marc Chassain and I'm the general manager of the company since 2015. I have a degree of chemical engineering. I started my career as a young engineer in the research department but then I moved quite quickly into sales and management responsibilities. I've worked over the last 30 years in different countries and industries. Leading the way to sustainability, this project is an essential part of your business strategy at Evonik. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, sure. Our primary aim is to make sustainability a key growth driver and a fundamental aspect of our product offerings, our investments and innovation management. So it's not only what you produce, but it's how you produce it as well, right? Exactly. So first, we communicate this vision to our customers by providing products, advanced technologies that offer a significant environmental benefit in their applications. And in addition of this, we are also implementing production practices at our site, which enable us to reduce our footprint. And therefore, you're also profitable and sustainable. Exactly, yeah. So how does this project contribute to the transformation of the chemical industry? Our approach focuses on offering innovative and sustainable solutions that go far beyond traditional chemistry. At our shuffling site, Avonic produces membranes crucial for the production of renewable gas. These membranes can be used in different applications, ranging from converting biogas into sustainable biomethane to supporting synthetic gases and hydrogen production. Our technology enables the usage of the natural gas grid as a transport medium for hydrogen. This means we can separate hydrogen from the natural gas grid where it is needed using membrane technology. This is the final product. Can you tell us how does it work? Yes, uh, indeed it all starts with the chemistry. So we are backward integrated in the polyimide chemistry to produce this polyimide. And it's not only one polyimide, but at the end, many, many different types, depending on the monomers we use. And this is very important because we can play around this chemistry to adjust the final properties of the product according to the needs of our customers or of the plants who are using these products. And what's going on in here? Well, indeed, it's the very, very interesting and very important part huh, of this module. These are the holofibers membranes, and this is where the separation of different gas components is taking place. From Jean-Marc, we learned all about how sustainability is at the core of this project. Next, we will meet Elizabeth, who's a sustainability manager at this site. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. So, Elizabeth, tell us a little bit more about how sustainability translates into your daily operations. Regarding sustainability, we aim for a holistic approach. We not only consider the benefits of our products in their applications, but also how they are manufactured. Lenzing and Schörfling were the first Evonik sites globally to run on 100% renewable energy, including water, wind and biogas. With this, we save about 87% of CO2 emissions, excluding raw materials. To further reduce emissions, we also look at energy-saving technologies. For example, we treat our exhaust air with catalytic post-combustion. Can you explain a little bit more what that means? In catalytic post-combustion, we use a catalyst to reduce the temperature needed for exhaust air treatment. By doing this, we bring down the temperature from about 600 degrees Celsius to 350 degrees Celsius. What about other resources like water? We have also improved our water usage. 
Now we purify and reuse the water from our hollow fiber spinning processes. This enables us to about half our freshwater consumption, even as our production capacity increases. So I understand that there's a lot more that you want to tell me, so why are we here? I took you outside to show us our solvent recovery plant that you see here. The solvent recovery plant enables us to reuse our solvent that we use in our production processes. Before, we had to sell it and could not reuse it. Thanks to the recovery, we now need to buy about 80% less of fresh solvent. This also means that we save about 5,000 tons of CO2 emissions per year. Right now, we plan to install an additional recovery plant with a new technology, a high temperature heat pump. So like heat pumps that you would install at your home? Exactly, but for higher temperatures and for industrial use. So far, they are not commonly employed in industry. The benefit is that we can capture and reuse the heat in the process and reapply it. This will position us as a pioneer and trendsetter in high temperature heat pumps. Thank you so much for everything that you've shown us so far, but what I'm wondering is what were some of the main decision-making factors in this project? Well, there are many indeed. So first of all, the company's demand for eco-friendly solutions, definitely a very important one. Then the regulatory requirements and international climate goals. And last but not least, of course, we looked at the availability of funding and we looked especially at the technological feasibility to develop our products. So Jean-Marc, thank you so much. I've really learned a lot from you. And now you brought me to the town hall of Schürfling. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We are deeply committed to regional initiatives that benefit our local community. Oh, let me show something else. Yes, Jana, we are also supporting sport and health initiatives. So you can see at this sign the Evonik Runde, which is indeed a Bewegung Arena for people. I can imagine that for this project you had to work a lot with different authorities, for example, for permitting, for funding. Can you tell me how that went? Yes, definitely. Yeah, this is a very complex process. We have to collaborate with national and local authorities. What's really important eh, from the start, you have to be very, very transparent and communicate openly with all these stakeholders. We faced also challenges eh, along this way. You know, these large and technologically complex facilities always was a challenge for approval processes. What was really important is to have a dedicated team in Austria to focus on all these aspects. And with the support also of the technical department of Germany, it worked really, really well. And we are able to meet all deadlines and requirements. Thank you so much for everything that you and Elizabeth have shown us today. Is there something else that you would like to share? This project leading the way to sustainability is in both a great technical and commercial success. It serves as a significant milestone toward a more sustainable future. And I really like to take the opportunity to thank all my team. And we are very proud to be a company that continuously evolves, embraces new challenges. We are not doing this only for us, for the company, but it's also to improve the quality of life for the future generations. Jean-Marc, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much for having us here today. Our pleasure. Have a safe trip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned a lot. I know that I sure have. And if you're curious to know more about what companies are doing on their way to the transition, stay tuned for more videos, follow us on social media and visit our website.